Namaste. I'm Master Kamal. In this video, I'm going to talk about yoga for sports. Sports like cricket, badminton, tennis, running, weightlifting, bodybuilding, and gymnastics, even yoga competitions. You know, it's very, very important to do a warm up. Very important. You can use yoga as the warm up for you. And I tell you, this will really help because yoga has the great techniques to release any pain or tension, to prepare all your muscles. Yoga is the best way to start any kind of sports that you play. And I'm telling you, if you start yoga and then you play your sports, you're going to peak your performance. You can do better. Your breathing will be great. Your moves will be very swift and you prevent injury. That's the great thing when you do yoga. The best exercises for all your joints and muscles is salutation, Suri Namaskar. So it excites all your muscles, your bones, your joints, and you feel good. So follow me. So we're going to do five rounds. You can stand feet slightly apart, exactly shoulder width distance. Now we begin. Breathe in. And down. But if you find difficult to reach the ground with your legs straight, bend your knees slightly and relax your head. Now step your right leg back like you're ready to run like so keep your back leg so straight come to this plank knees chest chin slide forward cobra downward dog open your shoulders press head down but if you find this difficult or your back is rounded bend your knee slightly step forward both feet slightly apart breathe out and we do little quickly another four rounds like this. Now, each posture, we're going to do 30 seconds to 40 seconds. But here I'm going to show you 30 seconds. So you can choose whichever posture you can do. I'm going to show you first few seconds, the easy one, and the second few seconds, the actual pose. So choose whichever you can. So I'm going to use the timer. So let's begin. beginning follow me
Interlace your fingers at the back. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Stretch your arms so straight. Don't bend. Keep your back so straight and you try to lift your arms. This one is easier and but if you can. The next one, you're going to squat. Push your hip back, stay. Most of the weight should be on the heels, not on the toes, so you don't hurt your knees. Place your fingers now from the hips you bend forward and let your arms fall over front And legs slowly apart. Interlace your fingers, palms face up. Stretch them up and breathe out. Easy. Step it to downward dog. Now drop your hips to the side, head down, hips up. In all these postures, Breathe slowly and deeply. Now do the other side. Slowly drop your back knee, place your hands 
easier like this. Or if you can. Place your hands in front of your feet. Slowly lift your back knee up and sit down if you can. This is side lunge. If you can more. and come slowly to side lunge and if you can one hand your left hand on the feet and right hand on the knee stay slowly turn bend this leg. keep your left leg straight long spine breathe in brush your chin to the shin now do the pigeon 
in this side. Squat hip. Put, place your weight on the right knee. So you give a deep stretch. Now place one hand on the feet, the other hand on the knee. Just sit taller. Slowly. Now we do right side, right leg straight, left bend, breathe. both feet together and we're going to do the plow posture very good for your spine elongate spine release stress tension and increase energy down both legs straight bend your right feet over the left left hand up just push like this and back
and under lock like this your elbow slightly up Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Namaste.